after 122 years of family ownership, the Bakersfield Californian will soon have a new owner. The newspaper announcing yesterday it is being sold to Sound News Media. 17's Aton Wallace spoke with the Californian's former president and CEO today, who spoke about what this could mean for the news consumer. Aton. Well, Richard Bean said there are a number of possibilities that could arise for Bakersfield, California staff and readers now that a new owner is set to take over. And tonight, the union representing the newspaper staff is calling the now former owner cowardly for how the sale was announced. Newspapers sold. That was the announcement on the Bakersfield, California front page this morning. After 122 years, the Harold Fritz family announced it has sold the Bakersfield, California and its ancillary publications, including the Tehachapi News. The new owner appears to be a newly established entity known as Sound News Media, owned by Canadian publisher Stephen Malkowicz. He recently bought the Antelope Valley Press and Lodi News Sentinel. Welcome back, everybody. 226. Richard Bean, who now hosts the Richard Bean Show on Kern Radio, served as the paper's CEO from 1998 until 2016. Today, he spoke about the sale on his show. The sale of the paper after being in the family for 122 years is not insignificant for this community. Not insignificant, he says, in part because for the last 122 years, the paper was family-owned local and that played a huge role in the newspaper's reporting. It's rarely good news when a locally owned newspaper in its fifth generation, which is invested in the community, the owners live here, when they sell to an out-of-towner, in this case a guy from Canada, you're rarely going to get the attention or the investment that the previous owners had. The newspaper released a statement to the public last night in which the previous owners said they have confidence in the new owners. But the union representing newspaper staff today blasted the now former owners for not informing staff about the sale. In a statement, the union said in part, quote, We sit here in disgust as we write knowing that the previous owner cowardly chose to notify the public of the sale on a weekend while not showing an ounce of respect for their now previous employees by advising us first. Now, the question turns to how the new owner will run the paper. Cal State Bakersfield professor Jennifer Berger, who worked for the Californian from 2003 to 2009, said there are a number of possibilities about what could happen next. There might be some consolidation. There might be some loss of staff, maybe some senior staff. Um, they may decide not to print every day of the week. A lot of newspapers have um, reduced to just a couple of times uh, a week and not every day. Um, all of those things could happen. I hope not. I hope that the new owner comes in and sees opportunities. Late this afternoon, Malkowicz released a statement that read in part, rest assured that we are making the purchase of the Bakersfield Californian and ancillary publications with the intent to continue on with the publishing of the daily newspaper in Kern County. Now, we have posted the rest of that statement on our website. Meantime, executive editor Jim Lowitz said this is business as usual, and he promised to continue serving readers and advertisers with high-quality content. Now, the terms of the sale remain unclear, but the sale is expected to be final on June 30th. In studio, Eitan Wallace, 17 News.